What's more difficult than multiplying and dividing rationals is actually adding and subtracting rationals. So we're going to start off kind of simple here. If you notice, all the denominators in these rationals that I've picked are equal to each other, right? So they're, they're what are called common denominators. And if you remember how addition of fraction works, uh, it's actually nice when we have common denominators because it means you just add straight across the top and you keep the denominator unchanged, right? One third plus four thirds equals five thirds. So we're going to do the same thing with rationals. Remember, all the rules of arithmetic apply to rationals. It's just that the, the variables sometimes make it a little more complicated, but it's still the same rules. So in this case, uh, what do I have? I have one common denominator already of omega minus 5. And on the top, I have 5 omega plus 3 minus 9 omega. And careful here, it's minus negative 17. So when you have minus negative 17, that's plus 17. Okay, so we just move through this and collect our common terms together. This is negative 4 omega, and 3 plus 17 is 20 over omega minus 5. And now, uh, now you need to simplify it. Always look for a way to factor once you're done adding and subtracting. And I see that there is a negative 4 I can pull out of this. Okay, and what's left behind is omega minus 5 on the inside of the parentheses. Well, look at that. It cancels out with the omega minus 5 below it. Okay, and your final answer is just negative 4. Okay, so always, always, always look for a way to factor the top and cancel out factors. It's not always there, but you should always be prepared for it. And uh, if you didn't do this last step here, canceling out that omega minus 5, uh, the computer would probably mark you wrong because you haven't put your answer in simplified form. Now let's move on to the next one. Again, same idea as before. Uh, my denominator is omega squared minus 10 omega plus 24. And, well, collect all your terms. I have a 3 omega squared minus 13 omega plus 4 plus a minus. Okay, that makes a minus overall. Minus 2 omega squared plus 6 omega plus 2 on the top. And as we collect those all together, we're going to get a single omega squared. Let's see, negative 13 omega plus 6, that's going to be negative 7 omega, and plus 6, okay, over omega squared minus 10 omega plus 24. So at this point, remember your last step. You need to factor everything. So that's going to be equal to omega minus 6 on top and omega minus 1. And on the bottom, it is omega minus 6 times omega minus 4. Okay, so you just come through here, cancel out the common factor, and our final answer is omega minus 1 over omega minus 4.